Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today, we are looking at the 6th grade concept of area, specifically how we can find the area of different polygons, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So I have a really strange composite shape here. So I have a trapezoid uh, that's flipped upside down, sitting on top of a parallelogram, sitting on top of a rectangle, which is a different type of parallelogram. And then we have a triangle down on the bottom. So if I wanted to find the area of this composite shape, I could use the additive property of area. So that just basically says if you have this strange looking shape, you can cut it up into smaller shapes, add the area of all the smaller shapes, and you have the area of the larger composite shape. So let's use what we know about the different formulas for area here. And so the trapezoid is going to have two different areas depending on how you want to write it. So you can have one half base one plus base two. And so that's base with a little one or base sub one plus base with a little two or B sub two with height. Or sometimes people like to write it like this. Base one plus base two divided by two. Multiplying by a half, dividing by two, same thing. Then you still have to still multiply that by height. So what do we know about this trapezoid? All right, so I'll use this first one here. I'll say one half. It doesn't matter which one's base one or which one's base two. So let's just add the two. I've got 12 and eight. And then the height, there is going to be no vertical line on this particular trapezoid. So they have to give it to you in this dotted line in the middle. That's the three, all right? So I'm gonna have half times 20 times three. So what's half of 20? That's going to be 10, so that's 10 times three. All right, so this is 30 units squared is going to be that trapezoid. Now, when we get into our parallelogram and rectangle, that's a little bit easier because they actually have the same formula, base times height. Even though it wants a parallelogram and one's a rectangle, they're both quadrilaterals. So we're going to use that same formula. So what do I know about my parallelogram? Well, my base right there is that 8. That height is given to me. It's dashed right there. That's a 4. So that's 32, right? So we can call this 32 units squared. And then I've got this rectangle. Now, you don't see a number on the rectangle, but hopefully you'll recognize that if this top part of this parallelogram is an 8, the bottom base is parallel, it's identical, and it's also going to be an 8. So I'm going to use this same base times height, parallelogram and rectangle have the same formula for area, but instead of an 8 times 4, it's got a different height. It's got an 8 times 3, so I've got 24. So I can put 24 units squared on this one. Now we come down to our triangle. So a triangle, what do we have there? Well, a triangle, think of it like half of a quadrilateral, okay? So we can also write this a few different ways. We can, we can write one half base times height, right? So here's my quadrilateral base times height. So just cut it in half and you get a triangle. Or you can rewrite it kind of like we did for the trapezoid, base times height over two. Remember, multiplying by one half, Dividing by the reciprocal or dividing by two, it's the same thing. So we need the base, and we're going to take this eight that we got from the top of the parallelogram. We brought it down to the rectangle. That's also going to be the base for this triangle right here. So that's going to be eight. And so let's just do the second one. Let's say it's going to be eight times the height is going to have to be dashed because it's not a right triangle so that they give it to us there as a six so eight times six and then we're going to divide that by two or you can do eight times six and multiply it by half so that's 48 divided by two or that's going to be 24. I want you to notice that my triangle and my rectangle have the same area, even though they're different shapes. So if I add them, I'm going to get 30, 32, two 24s make a 48. And let's just see what we have here. That's going to be 110 square units.